Welcome back to the Loadout Lounge. My name is Seth Nichols, and today I'm going to help you Christmas shop. So today we are looking at last minute Christmas gifts or stocking stuffers or your uh, child's first knife or something like that. Now this one is going to be straight fixed blades um, and I also have a $30 video that I'm going to do as well. It's also going to be uh, fixed blades. I may end up doing folders eventually, but for now we're just going to focus on the $20 budget. So less than 20 bucks. These are what I found. Uh, I went on Blade HQ and I found all of these different knives for under 20 bucks. Now some of them were uh, substantially lower than 20 bucks, but uh, it was still a blade. The only other thing I did with these knives is I found them on Blade HQ, less than 20 bucks, and then I searched on Amazon to see if they were cheaper on Amazon. And I'll make sure and tell you which ones I ordered from Amazon and then which ones I ordered from Blade HQ. So let's get right into it. The first one, I'm going to butcher the name of this one because it is a, a weird name. So it's spelled C C A N K U. So Kanku. But it is the C1295. So it has blue handle scales. They have a couple of different options as far as the, the handle scale coloring, which attracted me to it. Plus, the blade is kind of a cool little shape to it. So this is a this is what they consider a neck knife on there. It did come with a chain, and it also came with a belt loop attachment, so you can put this on your belt, potentially. This is a little knife. Um, I can get barely my pinky on the very end of it, okay? But it's a good little box opener. It's a good little um, small blade. I got this one from Amazon. The price was $11.99. Now I have Amazon Prime, so it made it a little bit cheaper than if I was to order it somewhere else that you had to pay for shipping. So order it from Amazon. The weight on this is 1.68 ounces. The overall length is 4.84 inches. The length of the blade is 2.13 inches. Um, it is considered a neck knife. It is full tang. So you have metal all the way down to the from tip to end. Uh, the blade material is 9CR18MOV. And the handle material is G10 handle scales. And like I said, you can get those in different colors. Uh, that They had a lot of different colors on, on Amazon when I looked. So for less than 12 bucks you can get a pretty cool pretty decent little blade but as far as this blade it's one of the smallest blades that i have and it is very light at 1.68 ounces you can't really beat that with a small pocket knife or a small belt carry knife or even a uh, neck knife okay i have these going in ascending order as far as price so with these next ones they're just going to get a little bit more expensive all the way up until we get closer to 20 bucks nothing goes above 20 dollars that was my only stipulation i gave myself is i had to stay under 20 dollars had to be a fixed blade all right the next one is by gerber it is the gerber dibs now this one i did i, I really do like this is a decent knife I'm able to fit all of my fingers onto the actual handle. It is skeletonized, so there is no handle scales. Uh, it's The inside of the handle has been uh, drilled out to make it as lightweight as possible. The only thing I think I might add to this, or I would, wish they would have added, was maybe some jimping up here on the, the spine right above the blade, just for my thumb to kind of press onto. But it does come with a leather sheath, and it holds it pretty well. It sits right up in there, and then it buttons right over the blade. So 
This one was $12.99. And I, I want to add this one stipulation. With Blade HQ, when I ordered stuff, I ordered a bulk a bulk order and so shipping was free um, you have to go over a certain price I don't remember it's been a while since I ordered these um, but with um, Amazon you have Amazon Prime and shipping is free most of the time so um, but I did get this from Blade HQ the weight on the blade is 2.0 ounces the overall length is 6 inches and the blade length is 2.5 inches this one it did give me a thickness so the blade thickness is 0.12 millimeter it is a clip point blade it is a full tang of course it is made out of 440 stainless steel okay so this is probably one of out of this whole selection one of my favorite knives as far as being minimalist, lightweight, just a small, compact knife. The only thing I don't necessarily know if I like is the sheath. It'd been great if it had like a Kydex or polymer sheath that I could put um, maybe a ulti clip on or something and be able to pocket carry this. That would be cool. But the leather sheath is okay. You can put it on your belt. It'll just dangle there. And I've not been one to put it on my belt. So... That would be the only thing I would try to change if I could. The next one on the list is the Code Steel Roach Belly. This is a pretty cool knife. It kind of reminds me of the Mora I have down here with the actual sheath. But this is the Roach Belly. Um, this one was $14.95. And I actually got this off of Blade HQ as well. Um, it's 2.6 ounces. It's 8.5 inches overall length with a blade length of 4.5 inches. It is 2.5 millimeters thick. And it is a trailing point style blade. And it is made out of Cold Steel's German 4116 stainless that is cryo quenched that is a hard one to say say it five times fast but cryo quenched um, and the handle scale is high impact polypropylene and it actually feels pretty good in the hand um, just holding it it fills my whole hand up it feels comfortable um, there is some jimping on it it is a little bit of a bigger blade I tried to make it to where Cold Steel wasn't filling up all of the list, but they have some really good budget knives for less than 20 bucks and also for less than 30 bucks. So with the the sheath, it's just plastic, it's molded, it'll go onto your belt, and it's just a overall a decent product. The next knife is the Browning the 98 <laughs> fun name so it's made by browning it's called the 98 um, it was 14.95 as well on blade hq it comes in a nylon uh, sheath and it has a weight of 5.6 ounces it is skeletonized uh it's overall length is 7.25 inches with a blade length of 3.25 inches uh, it is a drop point and it is full tang it's a stainless steel and the handle scales are made out of g10 i really like this knife as well uh, mainly it's because of the skeletonized look it's uh, it feels good in the hand it is a little bit wider this way in my hand so i'm not able to there there could be some potential hot spots here or pinching with the knife when you put it on your palm um, depending on what size hand you have but I'm able to wrap all of my fingers around and then you have the blade sticking out it's pretty decent jimping on it it's an overall decent blade again we're looking at blades less than 20 bucks as stocking stuffers Christmas presents or early gifts or a gift for 
um, your child or nephew or family member that's never had a knife before, if they lose it, it's not that big of a deal. Or if they break it, it's not that big of a deal because they're not that expensive. You don't want to give somebody their first knife and it be a hundred dollar knife or more. You want to give them a cheap one that will do the job, will teach them the fundamentals of how to use a knife, and it's just something to learn with. So, the 98 by Browning. Let's look at the next one. I'm sure some of y'all saw me pick it up just a second ago and already know what this is, but this is a Mora Companion. And it is, it is a great knife. Um, out of all of these, probably this one and the, the Gerber Dibs are probably going to be my top picks, but this, it feels great in the hand. It's got a little bit of a rubber texture or grippiness to it. Um, it does have a plastic sheath as well, just like the Cold Steel Roach Belly. Um, this one, however, if I can compare the two, this one up here where your thumb goes, let me put this away, you have a press a place where you can put your thumb and press and pull the knife out with the roach belly you don't and it's a little bit further in the sheath I'm a little bit more recessed in there so it makes it a little bit harder to get out but it's still you're still able to get it out with the mora companion it is 1681 and i was able to snag this off of amazon it weighs 3.9 ounces it has a overall length of 8.5 inches and a blade length of 4.1 inches and the blade thickness is 2.0 millimeters so this is pretty much a bushcraft knife if anybody any of y'all know more knives this is this is a bushcraft knife um you can edc this it's a it's a fairly cheap knife for what you're not want to say cheap let me take that back it's a fairly inexpensive knife for what you're getting um it's got a flat spine so you're probably going to be able to use your fire starter fire steel to um, start a fire it is made out of sandvik 12 c 27 stainless steel and the handle is polymer that's where you're getting a little bit of the rubber texture it is grippy and it, it just feels great in the hand they have it to where it swells up in the palm right perfectly in the middle of your palm where you can really grab a hold of it get a good grasp and it's not going to go anywhere it is sharp um, out of the box and overall it is a great knife a great choice at that $16 mark $17 mark uh, depending on what you find it for the next one we have is the cold steel mini tack bowie the small blade for the price so i got this for 16.99 right at 17 dollars, and i got it on amazon so this one weighs 2.9 ounces and it's fairly light the handle you have this little finger groove right here where it really helps you keep a hold of the knife my pinky barely sits on it that would be the only thing i like knives to fit in my hand and i'm able to get my pinky on it but it's not the end of the world. If it's a, if you're buying this for somebody as just a gift, a stocking stuff or whatever it is, it, it's going to be fine. Okay. Um, so $69.99 from Amazon. The weight on it is 2.9 ounces. So it's fairly light, but for the size, it's kind of on the heavier side. Um, it's six and seven eighths inches long, uh, from tip to the end of the handle. The blade length is three and five eighths inches with a thickness of 2.5 millimeters. It is a Bowie neck knife. The way it comes is just like this. So you don't have any pocket clips. You don't have an ulti clip on it. They put it as a neck knife so you can have a lanyard around it and use it as a neck knife. I don't necessarily know if I would. Um, it is a full tang. It is made out of 8CR13MOV, and with the handle, you have a G10 styled Grivex, uh, one of something that Cold Steel does a lot of, and it's textured, 
It's very grippy and it's kind of got a plasticky feel and I don't know if that'll pick up on the audio but it's kind of a textured plasticky uh, sounding or feeling material. But this is the Cold Steel Mini Tech. And then last is probably a knife that has been around, has been manufactured for a very long time. This is the most expensive out of this whole selection and it was still under 20 bucks. So this is the Old Timer. This I got on Amazon for $18.77. And it's a decent knife. If you have a family member that likes to hunt or anything like that, this would be a decent knife for them as a stocking stuffer or just a Christmas present, a child's first knife um, or something like that. But uh, the overall weight of this is 2.8 ounces. The overall length is 7.1 inches with a blade length of 3.3 inches. The blade thickness is 3.8 millimeters and it is a clip point Skinner style blade. Uh, it's full tang and it is a high carbon stainless steel and the handle i thought was wood i don't necessarily know it says black saw cut anywhere you look but that doesn't tell me anything um so it looks very much like wood but it just says black saw cut and it does come with a leather sheath when you open it up out of the box it smells straight like leather it's very strong smelling um but that handle is thick. It is thick. It still feels okay in the hand. I'm not going to say it feels the best. There's probably going to be some hot spots. Um, I look at, I view this knife as a, um, a game processing knife, um, a skinning knife or something like that. Uh, I don't think you're going to want to use this for any hard labor's task or anything like that. Just about how thin the tip gets. I've seen some people break the knife here. Of course, they were probably using the knife not for its intended purposes, but I've seen them break it right across here um, because it gets thinner. It tapers down into a, a thinner look, and it's just overall comes to a really sharp point, though. So just be careful. But as far as blades under 20 bucks and looking on Blade HQ and then trying to find a better price on Amazon if I can, these are what I came up with, and if I had to pick any of the knives that I liked the most, okay, I'm going to pick two out of this, but it's going to be the Gerber, the Gerber Dibs, which is skeletonized. It's a good looking blade. Uh, it's fairly sharp out of the box, and it's just lightweight. The only drawback to this would be the sheath. I'm not one that likes to snap. Uh, sheath or the belt hung knife if it's going to be like an EDC blade or something like that I'd much rather have maybe a, a deep pocket carry or uh, something along those lines with the Kydex sheath you put an ultra clip on it set it right in your pocket um, just like I do with my Kaiser baby if you've not seen the video on the Kaiser baby go check it out and you'll you'll see um, but I think the best blade for to me out of all of these if I was to pick any of these and or only had one choice out of all of these it would be the Mora Companion it's just a great knife it feels great in the hand it's it's just a, a great old overall knife so there you go I've got seven blades for under 20 bucks if you think any of these would work make sure you pick them up before Christmas because I was checking today some of the prices have changed, okay? I will put links in the description below. So just be careful whenever you're ordering. Don't just automatically put it in the cart and then check out thinking it's going to be the same price that I told you because it's it's fluctuated. Um, but make sure you don't wait if you're wanting to pick one of these up. I want, that's why I wanted to make sure I got the video out to you quickly. That way you could make last-minute Christmas shopping um, items. You could pick those up, so... If you have any other knives that you think would be a good fit for this that are under 20 bucks put it in the comments below make sure you check out our facebook group it's called edc loadout lounge make sure you like and subscribe and we'll catch y'all in the next video peace